But I'm just wanting to talk with you earlier. You're a model. I am. I am a full time model and personal stylist, wardrobe stylist. For okay. those who think personal styling is just standing next to somebody and just picking out stuff, I'm a wardrobe stylist as well. <laughs> so, oh. what does that entail? Well, it has to do with the whole spectrum of fashion. Mm. So, not only do I model, I also represent myself as a brand and I literally wear the clothes a certain kind of way of how I express it to myself on a daily basis. Mm. So being being that you are um, a designer, mm-hmm. well, not not designer. Oh, yeah, that too, um, yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah all that, all that. Do you, do you sometimes get um, critical of what um, people might want to dress you in as a model? Never. Never. Mm. Because mm. you got to understand, models are professional hangers. Mm. So Damn. we have... <laughs> Not, not necessarily say that we have no say-so. Mm. When they pick you as a model, they pick you because they have a vision, a creative vision of understanding this is who I want in my garment because they have a certain body type or facial figure or mm. um, their hair a certain kind of way. They have the vision. So you have to allow them to create that vision. And if you don't, you don't need to be in that world. Mm. That mm. makes sense. Yeah. It's, it's real simple. Either you're just going to keep it quiet and just put on the garment and walk out there. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying to walk out something that's too big for you. Clearly, it's obvious that designer didn't, you know, mm-hmm. have a fitting for you. I'm just saying to represent the brand as much as you possibly can because they want you to represent it. Right. Okay. Have, have you ever run into that issue where you were out in something you're like, ah, I didn't feel? Or is that? Yes. Mm. I say, hey, you sure? You sure? You alright? They put you in the weeds. Yeah. Um, let me tweak it a little bit. We can tweak it together. <laughs> you know, so it's a team this, effort. <laughs> so all this was intentional. Yeah, yeah, what you're yeah. To say. So I'm like, hey, maybe we should put this together this way. And they're like, oh yeah, I didn't think about that. It's just um, you. It's how you approach it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's the way that you approach it and how they. They grasp it. Now, if they're like one of those people who's like, oh, no, it got to be like this. I'd be like, all right, mm-hmm. nah, this house going to look in the picture. Let's tweak it a little bit. Let's take a picture. Let's try to work it out that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. True, true. <laughs> so mm-hmm. it seems like it's real cut and dry. For me, it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, some models are not understanding. I'm a little bit more understanding. I'm a mm-hmm. Libra. Shout out to my Libra seasons. Okay. I know it's Leo mm-hmm. season. Yeah. Don't know many Libras. Y'all cool. Yeah. yeah, we cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, how long have you been doing this? Um... Since I was 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, so on and like off. A seasoned vet. Yeah, on and okay. off. So now I'm taking it a little bit more serious. By doing? Um, branding myself the correct way. Got you. Yeah. And yeah. that's definitely this type of climate out here. Like, if, you, if you're going to be doing... <laughs> maybe, maybe he just wanted to touch you. <laughs> if that's the case, it's worse. I was, I was supposed to hit Paul. That didn't work. Let so me, let me see your elbow. <laughs> so like I was saying, it's very indicative of the society now you because if you're gonna be weenus, doing how do stuff feel? like that, mm-hmm. you know, you definitely have to brand yourself because you know sometimes at the end of the day, you know, you get fired, hired, you know, back and forth. Sometimes yeah. you have something to fall back on. Yeah, I have a broadcast journalism degree, so that's what I fall back on. Okay. Oh, that's even better. Yes. Yeah. So um, as long as nobody chops off my fingers, I can still write. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now yeah. come on, look, um, look, they got talking text now. I mean, I've done I've done everything. I've done behind scenes as well as in front of the camera, anchoring, mm. reporting, producing, associate producing. I've been my camera woman, not man, camera woman. I've yeah. done everything that you could possibly think of in that realm of broadcast journalism. Got you. So, Where'd you go to school for? I went to school for broadcast journalism at Florida a University. Shout out to my resume. Hey, shout out to the ABCU. Yeah, word, word. It's just, it's a pack of rattlers or just rattlers? It's just rattlers. Right. Okay. Because yeah. I remember growing up. Extra, yeah. Don't put extra hey. stuff like y'all put y'all names. Pack of rattlers. No, no, no. <laughs> that's stuff different. Right. That's just, we have enormous egos and we have to feed into it. So, you know, that's all that is. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> So that's 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 pretty awesome. So you pretty much cover every aspect of, of the industry. Yeah, yeah my dean, um, before he passed away, God rest his soul, um, he told me that as an African American, not only woman, but as an African American as a whole, you have to make sure that you dabble into every single thing, you touch every single thing, and make yourself marketable mm-hmm. in order for you to 
project into the world the proper way. Right. So if you right. only cater to one thing, that does not make you marketable and accessible to other things that you have other people with different races who can basically step over you. Mm -hmm. So I've done that throughout the years and thank thanking him for that because mm -hmm. he taught me that within the broadcast journalism realm, not only learn how to write, but also edit, not only know how to edit, but also be the videographer, not only know how to do everything, but do everything, touch it at least once and try to not necessarily perfect it, but try to grasp the information so you're knowledgeable so you won't walk in and be intimidated. Right. Yeah, sounds like you dropped a lot of gems on you. I was, I was going to ask, yeah. like, did you get to this point or was it a slow build to these different avenues that you're... Well, I'm hard-headed. I'm a Libra. So <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it took a lot of trial and tribulations to mm -hmm. actually get to this, but with experience teaches knowledge. Mm -hmm. you know, and wisdom. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you, a lot of the trial and errors that you have, you understand and learn that they're not mistakes. They are opportunities and choices. And the choices that you make come with consequences that you have to go ahead and take. Absolutely. So as yeah, a, it's been a grown up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Accountability is yeah. a big yeah. thing. Can I return a grown up? <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you see... Um, do you see as many opportunities out there for black women in, in, in the modeling world as we, as you might see for? I actually do. Mm. Um, is it in Miami? No. Mm. Mm. Is it in the United States? Yes and no. Um, I've been all over the world. I have been to Dubai. I've been to Germany. I've been to Milan. I've been to Italy. I've been to Rome. We're mm. not going to keep going on the list. I've been to Alaska too. You need it. to try right there. <laughs> it's really good. Right there is off the chain. Mm. But um, I've been overseas and I've been in Germany and I've been in Rome and Milan and they will gravitate to my complexion mm -hmm. before they gravitate to a person with a lighter complexion. Mm. Here they gravitate to the lighter complexion. It's the brand. You got to understand if you're going to go to um, the grocery store to buy clothes, you clearly know that there's no clothes sold in the grocery store. Nowadays, I don't know now. Save mm -hmm. a lot, Mike. <laughs> I've seen a <laughs> you know, different places buy, buy yeah. sell different things. Walmart, you know, you can sell everything. Like, <laughs> yeah. But it's, it just depends. You got to figure out where you're going and which, what's the best option for you, mm -hmm. what your market is within music, within acting, within everything. You know, it's acting, it's going to LA. You know, if it's fashion, it's going to New York. You know, if you're in Miami, it's more to very seductive maxim type stuff bathing suits type thing so right. what are you catering to as a person mm -hmm. once you know that then the road is easy from there right wow yeah, but that's so good encouragement you know girls encouraging people to take that leap because that's always the last thing stopping them like yeah. oh, i don't want to move to new york i don't want to move to la but if you don't want to go gone. further then you know you're, you're gonna and, go as far as you take yourself yeah and, and zeroing in on like or focusing in on like something in particular that you're into. at least knowing mm -hmm. yourself and knowing what you would enjoy doing too right you got to understand because the road is going to be hard if you keep trying to go somewhere that doesn't accept you or mm -hmm. doesn't have that thing Man. for you, you so it it's kind of that's gonna be a short yeah it is i promise you you just gotta understand like it's a lot of places that you go to, like if you're looking for a job and you bring your resume and you're like, dang, I know I qualify for this job and it just doesn't work out. That's not where you belong. Mm -hmm. There's things why there's reasons why your doors are closed in your face and you have to mm -hmm. figure out as a person which route are you going to take? Maybe that's not your purpose or that's not your route to right. take at that point in time. Yeah, definitely watching life. Universe, God, whatever you all out there mm -hmm. want to call it in internet land. <laughs> um, it's really like what you're saying, paying attention to what's in front of you, the situations that are happening, the way your do those doors are closing, yeah. and then evaluating afterwards. So that's a, that's a great piece of advice. Like, Do you have any other types of advice, though, like say for maybe like a black or brown person who does see a lot of denial from, say, different agencies or the industry? Because I'm sure that's something that occurs still. Yeah, I still get no's. They tell me no. Mm. Uh, I have um, girls that look like you already. Now, I know. Whoa. <laughs> I know I girls don't have a twin. Like so I don't know what you're saying. But yeah. you know when you get to the more lighter complexion. No, let me politically say it. When you get to the Caucasians. Mm -hmm. And the Caucasians literally look at us and say we all look alike. Mm -hmm. But when you look at them, I see the same thing. That's right. Like I can't tell Sally from, from 
Sally Mae, from <laughs> Ashley, from Katie. I can't tell the difference <laughs> until I physically look at how they present themselves. If they all got blonde hair and they turn around, who's who? Mm, right. Mm. But we turn around, you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> you see Absolutely. what I'm saying? Because we have differences about ourselves. Mm. They do too, but not to say that, but they, they constantly say at the agencies that I do go to, without naming any of them, we have girls that look like you already. Mm-hmm. And that's I said, okay, that's sample. fine. Thank yeah. you. Okay, they have, that, that, I mean, they have yeah. the one black but that They is got a, the one black. And I check, token. I do my research. <laughs> they don't really know how much research a lot of the models do. But I do my research. I go onto their websites. I check and I count literally each black model that they have that has a similar look that I have. Mm-hmm. And then I go in there and I duplicate that. And I duplicate it in a different way. And then I mm-hmm. say, okay, this is me. And they say, we have people that look like you. And then when I say to them, what do you mean by that? Well, we don't want you to compete against them if a client calls and say, we want this kind of girl. I thought the whole world was about competition. Mm. It absolutely Sounds like yeah. a week. So, Especially but, in that Yeah, field. so right. I, don't, I don't really know. I'm bringing yeah, you yeah. money, regardless right. of the fact. You, yeah. you bring me I'm, on. I'm supposed to get the gigs. I'm bringing you money. If you don't put me out there, how are you going to get the money? Right. That's so, true. So what so, I mean, y- y'all got one white girl too, like no. And I mean, at the time they were also signing this other girl who came from from Germany, mm-hmm. and it's it's who you know. It's networking. Right. It's not what you know. Um. Yes, I'm educated. Yes, I'm knowledgeable about certain things. I'm not, um, completely engaged in every single thing that I want to be engaged in. But I teach myself and I learn from my experiences. A lot of these agencies, they just don't gravitate to a certain look. Mm. Until that was trending. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. I had long hair down my back, and I walked into an agency and they told me that I don't have a high fashion look. Now, I don't know what they were talking about. So I stopped and I waited until all of the people left, and everybody was like, Oh, if you don't make it, then I ain't got no chance. And these are white folks, these are Hispanics, <laughs> these, are, these are all these kind of people are coming up to me in the agency telling me, If you don't make it, I don't have no chance. So then I left. I let everybody leave, and I asked the person, "What do you mean by high fashion?" They said, "Well, uh, Naomi Campbell look." And I said, "Well, my hair is actually real, and it's longer than Naomi Campbell's <laughs> wig. So I'm trying to figure out what's high fashion." <laughs> they couldn't tell me. They right. was like, "Well, I'm not saying if you cut your hair, you should cut your hair." Yes, I've cut my hair after two years of being there because I had transitioned into something different. Not because they told me to cut my hair, but at the end of the day, when I walked to them with my hair cut. They're like, uh, well, we're not really, uh, you stuttering? You all right? Do I intimidate mm. you by standing up in front of you? I gave you exactly what you needed. You mm. get, you asked for a high fashion. I gave you high fashion pictures. You told me I was too commercial. I also gave you commercial pictures. Plus, I gave you fitness pictures because that's where you geared me to fitness and commercial. Mm. And modeling, I'm not fitness and commercial modeling. Mm. I mean, I'm fit, but I can do both. I can do all three. Mm. Um, I'm going more high fashion, but I had to remember, I'm putting myself in a bubble. I'm allowing these people to tell me no, 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 mm-hmm. when this is not even the market for high fashion. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's just you doing your research. You're mm-hmm. going to get all these no's, but then you're going to get these 9-9 agencies that's not a real agency where it's a school and they charge you. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Yeah. I so it. they keep calling you, you and texting you. They keep <laughs> yeah, calling you Yeah, but I never went. They always send <laughs> emails. Hey, you want to reschedule? Yeah, want to reschedule. Hey, uh, they Tuesday keep doing seven. it. Wow. They keep I didn't doing know it. Was, they keep doing it. Why are you edging me on? Like nobody blowing up my phone. We ain't in a relationship. Don't take me right. like this. Don't mm. don't call me like this type thing. So those you got to check out those. Those are like schools. They want you to come in and pay for this and pay for that and all mm. that extra stuff. But that doesn't make any sense to me. Wow. They, they want so to you got to watch out for that. They take advantage that wow. there's no like real set avenue for people right yeah we're trying to go these routes yeah and it's the instagram to, yeah and they it's try instagram to, they try to scam people yeah they try to yeah, pray on it's a lot pray yeah, on the people who are innocent because mm-hmm. they're not knowledgeable about what's going on or, i mean tyra banks have spoken about it and mm-hmm. i've also tried out for the um tyra banks um shows i i literally had to analyze myself as a person as hungry as i wanted i can't be ignorant mm-hmm and as hungry as you want it, you can't be ignorant to the fact that there are con artists out there. Right. And they're going to constantly target you. You got to question yourself. If this person is uh, constantly hitting me up, constantly hitting me up and saying yes, 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 what is it that they're saying yes, yes, yes about? Mm. What is it that they're saying that I have this, I have this, but I haven't seen it within myself? You got to make sure you do the work and be be respectful to yourself and your craft and understand and be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm not there yet, so I don't know why this person is calling me. Mm -hmm. A lot of people get hit up on Instagram, but Instagram, there's 
hmm. Instagram models and there's real models. There's yeah. Instagram models Indeed. and there's real models. They're not fake models. They're still models. At mm. the end of the day, we're all real. Mm. It's just what you're catering to. Mm. Yeah, I was actually, since you're coming on, I was looking it up and I realized how broad the spectrum of, of modeling is. Mm. Yeah. You know, there's there's fitness modeling, there's mm-hmm. runway modeling, yep. mm-hmm. there's high fashion modeling, yep. there's print modeling, mm-hmm. there's... Um, what, commercial more? modeling yeah like mm-hmm. you know it, it's it's a wide array of things where and then even it, more is hand modeling it's teeth modeling it's teeth modeling it's a lot of things. shoulder yeah it's you know, a lot of different I've things got, got they got weenus shoulder. models hair models it's a lot of different things and that's what makes people accessible to everything if they mm-hmm. understand what they're trying to go into and understand that there is a realm for you you just have to pick it Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Identify it and then keep going for it and market yourself off of that because you're your own brand. It's a hundred, it's hundreds and thousands and millions of people watching your Instagram, regardless mm-hmm. if they like it or not. Because you're going to have haters who just, oh, I'm going to see you do that. Mm-hmm. Right, nah. <laughs> yeah. And don't like your stuff, but True. you have to really really focus on your Instagram and see, is this marketable? Is this what I want to put out? You got young people watching your stuff that's 